Al Jazeera spoke to a Greek Cypriot and a Turkish Cypriot to see how ordinary fe people feel about those negotiations. And here they are face to face. Uh, my name is Rana Zinjir Jalal. I live in the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus and uh, I'm very optimistic about the peace talks um, that have now started. Uh, we have two leaders that come from a pro-peace background. Um, I think that they're sitting at the negotiating table in good faith. So I think that we have a fairly good chance. It's within our hands to solve it. I'm Nikos Karoulas. I'm a Greek Cypriot from Famagusta. Um, I'm living in Larnaca for the last 34 years. I'm not neither optimistic or pessimistic about this peace process. I'm just saying that this is the biggest and last chance for reunifying the island. I don't think everyone will get their land back. I don't think everyone wants to get their land back. Uh, I think that uh, there should be a system for compensation. Some of the people will get a percentage of their property back. Unfortunately, some of them, they are not going to get anything back because this is our reality. There's nothing to get back. We cannot promise them that we will find a solution, you know, for everybody. Some people have to pay the biggest price. As far as power sharing is concerned, I think Turkish Cypriots deserve to be equal partners in the government. It has to be split 50-50. Uh, and we have to understand that being in Europe and being civilized, there is no risk for the other community, let's say, to have a problem. I don't think it's Cyprus's last hope. I think it's Cyprus's first hope. And I think that's the, that's the vision that we should have. I think the communities will become closer and more integrated in the coming year as the negotiations take place, partly because we'll be thinking in terms of a unified Cyprus. I'm sure that it's the last chance. We cannot make dreams. We cannot expect uh, the next generation to take this obligation uh, to solve the issue. They don't care a lot. They are used to their isolation. Their life is limited to a borderline. So our generation is the last who has the experience of common life, of sharing things. We have a past and who are willing to pay the price, who are willing to go back to cooperate and to rebuild.